Welcome to Caymanus Punta's Paradise. I'm your host, Michelle E. Banks, with Race Day Preview for Saturday, September 7, 2024. Ten races on the card. Post time, 11.30 a.m. Myself and Mr. Blake will be presenting our tips with in-depth analysis from Mr. Blake. Starting with the usual order, race number one. Five a furlong straight, the distance. Number two, impressive force to get the better off. Number five, G speed, which is a disappointment. And I'm open to show some more intent on winning. Number three, Prince Aman. Number four, affair. Number eight, social mischief. Mr. Blake. Let's get straight into the first event. My top two air includes number two, impressive force. Fairly decent importy doing his thing at extra size, looks like at above these and having come from a good sprinting background should blind these with speed. Though his mother is a predominantly um, turf horse, um, she's stuck with a lot of speed and he has been working well, should have a chance. Number three, Prince Aman. Went down as the even money favourite a month ago, coming from the layoff. He's much sharper now and should definitely be the one to chase this arse. Exotic arses, number four, fear. Number five, JSP. Going for number two, impressive force, ahead of number three, Prince Haman. Race number two. Four for a long straight, the distance. I'm taking number two, Boss Izzy, but just ahead of number six, Fairy Path, who has been running some good races. Number six, Joan Strike. Number three, April Spirit, Mr. Blake. Second race on the card. Number two, Boss Izzy, reports here one week later off the claim. He's in a more in farm camp now. Definitely will relish his quick sprint. Tough notch here. Taking a chance, I'm going to bank this one. Number two, boss easy. It's a very cheap race, and I'm scrambling to really find horses in here. So I'm just taking a chance. Number two, boss easy. Traffic the horses in my view. Number four, time to say goodbye. And number five, fire apart. Race number three. Five furlong straight, the distance. Number five, Eagle One is a cut above these. And if Eagle One is 80% sound, should beat these. Ahead of number three, Magical Mood. Number one, AKA Storm. Number seven, Last Lake, Mr. Blake. Third event on the card, I'm going four deep, top four here. Number two, Legal Bomb. Third start in two weeks. Return air out the straight where he got his only place since this year. A bit on the heavy side, but he's fit enough and can land this one. Number three, Magical Mood. Claim a month ago, she is in good hands. Though winless this season, she has um, managed to run some nice races and will come in with a chance if turned up the right way. Number five, Eagle One. Gotten two months break and returned with some winning, with the same winning combination. Um, though, free, though this one is frequent at the exercise, he still have his fair share of issues and has to be taken only on trust. Number seven, last lick. Gradual getting fitter since returning from the lengthy break. Didn't appear to like the visor on the last time. Train has removed it. This horse definitely can upset. I'm going for number two, legal bomb. Ahead of number three, magical mood. Number five, eagle one. And number seven, last lick. Moving to race number four. Eight furlongs the distance. I'm taking my chance here with number five, Dimitri P, to get the better of number two, Waterman John, number four, Lambo Girl, number seven, Papa Gray, Mr. Blake. Fourth race, I'm going four deep again. My, my top four here, number two, Waterman John. Picked up the lead in the home stretch and last, but was outrun by a much season horse. He'll be going half of her long more now. We'll have a lot to do, but still in with a chance. Number three, money box. Ran down the track, coming off the break last month. 
not the most reliable horse, but as what it takes to beat these if he comes good. Number four, Lambo Girl, extremely fit filly, was improved a lot this year. Mostly under trainer Adrian Prince, the leading rider now on board. He will regulate this pace and try to put this horse in a good position. Number seven, Papa Gray. One well going away with 126 pounds to broke maiden three weeks ago. Though he didn't beat much, he's, um, he's tough and will fight out this one. Going for number four, Lambo Girl, ahead of number two, Waterman Jan, number seven, Papa Gray, and number three, Moneybox. Race number five, seven furlongs the distance. Number four, Geolytics, looks well. And could possibly win ahead of a nice looking number one huntsman. Also looking up at his exercise is number five win princess. Number three California goal should also be kept on the right side. Mr. Bake. Race number five on the card is an extremely competitive race. I'm going four deep here. My top four number two burning Valor. Beat a poor field three weeks ago, but he's better than OE1. Will run best, run on best, and um, he definitely can win this race. Number three, California goal was most unfortunate and last, but should recoup, even though picking up some 10 pounds. The blinkers has been re-added. Should be sharp and focused for this. Number four, Gelatic. A very talented imported field who came with good reputation, but has been struggling this year. Trainers put her down, reprogram her, and bring her back. Number six, wow, how third start off the break. She's in a note, in a note kind of performer, but can run big whenever um, she make up her mind. Going for number four, Jill take over number six, wow, how number three, California, gold, and number two, burning valor. Race number six, seven and a half furlongs the distance. Number 10, Uncaptured Empress, ahead of number 7, James. Number 5, Mr. Senator, who could possibly turn up. Number 8, Tiger Immediate. Number 2, Superior, Mr. Blake. Sixth race on the card. This is the bank of the day for me. Number 7, James. Very fit and roaring to go. Stretch, stretches out for the first time. With no great speed present, it should just be a matter of how far. James is a firm banker for me. For the exacta, um, I like number two, Superior, and number 10, Uncaptured Empress. Race number seven. Five furlongs round the distance. Number six, Blood Moon to beat. Number eight, Happy Force. Number two, Ruby's Light. Number five, Jill Roy. Mr. Blake. Seventh race on the card, my match race of the day. Number six, Blood Moon. Disappoint as my back to school banker two weeks ago. He should set off in front, but will have to fight very hard to maintain. Number eight, Happy Forest. This mal performance entered that made a race on Emancipation Day. Chased the leader but gave up in the stretch, hoping for a better run. Giving the edge to number eight, Happy Face, over number six, Blood Moon. Super Victor Arses, number one, Chief Dissident, and number two, Ruby's Light. Race number eight, seven furlongs the distance. Number eight, the general should give Shamari Muir a well needed win. Ahead of number seven, Bushfire. Number two, Tiffany Blue. Number five, the social war, the soul warrior. Number six, another mission. Number three, Valley of Love. Mr. Blake. Race eight on the card, um, on paper. It appears that if the, um, the general is a banker, but I'm going three deep right here. Top three for me. Number six under the mission. Stretches out here. Visor remove. She should be more relaxed and get a run at them in the latter part of the race. Number seven, Bushfire. Got his racing introduction a month ago. Trainer made some adjustments and prepares him well. Should be a very dangerous horse. And number eight, the general. Third start of the break. Stretches out should be comfortable. Will be finishing strongest of the lot. Giving the edge though to number eight, General. 
Ahead of number 7, Bushfire. Number 6, Another Mission. High 5 Considerations. Number 2, Tiffany Blue. And number 3, Valley of Love. Race number 9. 5 Furlong Straight, The Distance. Number 7, Sensational Move to Battle Out This. And should win ahead of the impressive number 1, Chocomo. The nice looking number 3, Millers. Number 6, Taras Boy. Mr. Blake. Ninth race on the card, nice looking overnight race. I'm going four deep right here. I mean, number seven sensational move looks like a bank on paper. Or look hard to lose, but I'm going four deep. Number one, Chocomo. Improving imported cold, though did run well the last time. He's in with a shot here. Number three, Milos, the one I like, super fit and will enjoy this five straight a lot. The leading rider sticks with this one, knows him well, should position himself good enough to make a winning run. Number five, Generational, this horse delivered as my outer two weeks ago down in Clemen, but he's no stranger here at overnight allowance and with a very good trainer here, um, he can definitely pull off an upset if come well. Which I think he will come well. And um, number seven, sensational move. Hasn't looked himself since returning. Um, I mean, this ass gave me a birthday present last year at 62 to 1 in November. Maybe I should wait till November again. Does really look himself, to be honest. I'm giving the edge to number three, Milos, ahead of sensational move. Number one, Chocomo. Number five, generational. Race number 10. Five a furlong straight the distance. I'm also be, I'm gonna be taking my chance here with number eight, Noblar. Ahead of number nine, volatility. Number 10, posing already. Number three, march and shoot. Number seven, Mr. Cylinders. Throw into your hand. Super Factors and your I-5. The Speedy Rocket Lily number 5. Mr. Blake. 10th and final on the card. Um, nice event to close out. Another overnight allowance. This time for horses that has never won an overnight allowance. I'm going 5 deep here. It's that competitive. Top 5. Number 3. March and Shoot. This horse got a nice strength workout in that race last week. Return zero out of the straight where he can be very dangerous. Should run on very, very fast. Number seven, Mrs. Linders. Speedy Philly, which enjoys the straight. Will have company early, but is extremely fit enough to land this one. Number eight, Narblar. Nice victory returning from the layoff the other day. Steps up here with a good chance. Number 10, posing already. This horse has been running some fairly decent races since stepping up to overnight allowance. He, he loves this tree, usually gives a good performance here, so I'm expecting a good run from him. And um, number 11, baby like. Uh, this, 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 this one is just a very disappointing mirror. It wasn't um, live up to expectations, really. But the maestro has put her down, reprogram her, no one brings her back here fresh. We'll see how best she runs, but this is the type of ours you can't leave out of her a bit. I'm going to give the edge to number three, March and Shoot. Very, very fit. Over another very fit as number seven, Mrs. Linders. Number ten, posing already. Number eight, Narblar. And number eleven, baby like. I five considerations. Number one. Great win and number nine of volatility. There you have it, guys. Have yourselves a wonderful day at the races. Bye bye.